holy cow my dudes it snowed so much last night so we're going to be going snowboarding today it is going to be sick give it a thumbs up and if you find any value and you want to come back definitely consider subscribing to the channel but now i gotta go clean off my car Morning. one of my favorite things about the winter is actually pushing all the snow off of my car so fun So we ended up going for a really sick hike and we also got Max here and Howie and now we got a roll, but I want you guys to see how sick just snowboarding down a run can be. All right guys, so if you guys are digging the content, give it a thumbs up. Also, uh, I love you, mm -hmm. bye. Get the pal. Oh. Should we do it boys? Oh go, we're going. This is so sick! Woo! This is so fun! <laughs> That hike was worth it. Big shout out to Pearl Wax for helping me go fast. If you guys are looking for any wax discounts, I get 20% off Pearl Wax. I'm using the wax right now and I'm freaking cooking it. Look, these slackers back here can't even make it. Pearl Wax, so sick. I also wanted to take a second and just thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all the subscribers, followers, messages, just all the support. You guys are incredible. You guys keep me motivated. You keep me excited about putting out content. But I just wanted to say thank you guys so much. It really means the world to be able to grow a community and just help you guys become better snowboarders. It means a lot. I don't know what else to say, but I love you guys. Dudes, we just got done riding some of the sickest pow turns in literally the last six months because it hasn't snowed. But now we're gonna go snowboard some more at my friend's house. He's got a, a sick backyard setup. So we're gonna go do some tricks. I'm gonna give you guys some tricks and tips about that as well as I'm introducing a new series. So I'm gonna be going around Summit County area highlighting people in the community and their terrain park. So if you guys have a park, let me know. DM me on Instagram because I wanna come shred your park and share, and share the vibe, share the love. But also from you guys, I need to know what we should name this series. Tommy Bennett's Backyard Gnarly Excursion. Check it out. I don't know. You guys help me out. But for now, we're hanging out with Max again. Obviously, you saw him earlier. But we're going to go snowboard a backyard park. It's starting to melt out. We might have to shovel a little bit. But it doesn't matter because we're hyped. Woo! There we go. All right, guys. Let's get started. Woo! 
So this is the freaking park, dude. This is so sick. Uh, this is Josh Underwood. He was super awesome to let us come hang out with us. I'm so pumped. What up, dog? Super fun, dude. A little shoveling required, but no snow, better than no snow. So let me ask you a question. What's the motivation to like do this whole thing? This is, you guys have put in work. Yeah, we cleared out a bunch of brush out here. Sorry, just shoveling, which is part of the work. <laughs> um, you out of breath at 10,000 yeah, feet. Like these guys and you guys and just the community, getting people out to shred. Um, it's just such a chill vibe. It's like, it's just so fun. There's no inhibitions. You just come out and ride with your friends. and That's so sick. That is so cool. So in the winter, these guys have a rope tow to make the laps super efficient. Imagine being able to do 100 laps. It could take you 20, 30, 40 minutes here. Uh, so that's a huge advantage about having a backyard park. But I, what I also love about this series slash backyard parks is how accessible snowboarding really is. You go outside your house, you strap in your snowboard, it's right there. So I'm super hyped on that. This is gonna be sick. All right, Josh, what do I need to do, bro? I got shovels, I got, I'm ready to go. Yeah, what do we need? Um, just some shoveling. We got some snow around the yard and we're starting to get some um, bare patches just because it's been a little warm this afternoon. So we'll just fill in some of these bare patches. Most of it, we could probably ride right now as it is, but it'll, 15 minutes of worth of work will go a long way. And yeah, it's just a little shoveling and then let's, let's shred. Let's go. Earn your turn, boys. We got to come up with something clever like earn your trick, <laughs> dude, bro. All right, so we got Mandy here. Hey! What's up? So what, we're gonna, what we've decided to do is change the feature up there, move it down here, so then you can hit that into here. So what we gotta do now is fill in some of these blank spots. You can see a little dirt patch right there. We're gonna add a little bit more snow here so it doesn't move, as well as over there. So the key is to make sure you have enough speed, but enough room to do your tricks, right? If you're just trying to pin it and you have no setup turns or anything, it makes life so much harder. So these guys have so much room, but they've also strategically spaced everything else so you can like, if you scrub a little bit, you have time to recoup, get your speed, and still send it. So we're gonna do a little bit of shoveling, fill in some blanks, and uh, then do some tricks, I hope. How exciting is that? So we're gonna start up here at the top. You got this nice little, nice little drop in area. Hit this thing. After you hit this feature, you can go left, you can go right. You just have a good time. So backyard setups are so fun, but backyard setups can be really challenging because they're not perfectly groomed, right? They may have their inconsistencies. And so us as snowboarders, think about taking your belly button and sinking down just a little bit more so that your knees can act as shock absorbers and be able to handle the terrain. That way that if you do hit those bumps, it's not completely throwing you off. Uh, the other thing is keep your eyes up, your chest up, and anticipate as much as those little bumps as you can, and you're gonna feel a lot better. So if you're gonna do any background session stuff, send me some videos. Link me on Instagram. I wanna see what you guys are doing because this stuff is fun and it's pretty hard. What up, Max? What's up? All right guys, so I've gotten a couple hits on this thing, but the one thing I'm struggling with is my imagination is about 100 steps in front of where I'm actually at. So I haven't gotten comfortable with the features yet, how they slide, how you approach, how fast you need to go. But then my imagination is like, you could do this, this, and this. So when you're doing these kind of features, definitely like take your time, do the basics, you know, the 50, 50, the board size, get used to the takeoff, how everything feels, and then expand and, and see where it goes. Uh, and that's really the advice I need to take for myself.
the session has been so sick. These guys are freaking crushing it. And I've taken a couple diggers, but that's also what's cool about this is that it's low consequence. The future is not super high off the ground. So if you take a tumble, it's not that bad. You're not gonna rumble. So good times. We're running out of light. I'm gonna try to get a couple more tricks before we roll and uh, wish me luck. Dude, that nose press dough, that is freaking sick. Big shout out to Mandy, Josh. Also, big shout out to Max for all these guys coming in. It's been an absolutely sick day. So if you guys are digging the content, definitely give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel because we're putting out content all the time. And we do a live Q&A every single Wednesday, if you want, or every single Tuesday. If you want to hang out, ask me questions about this content or anything else, come hang out because I'd love to chat with you. So we're going to end it on that note. You guys are amazing, so keep progressing, keep killing it. Let's go.